Let me show you how to do sumac weaving. This technique involves wrapping the weft yarn around the warp threads and produces a lovely raised slant stitch. I will demonstrate this technique with a slither of shiny mulberry silk top. We start by pulling out two warp threads and placing the end of the yarn behind the two warps, with the end coming out to the front on the right hand side of the two warps. Then pull out the next two warp threads to the right and holding the yarn bundle in your right hand, pass the yarn behind these two warp threads from right to left. Pull the yarn right through to form your first slanted stitch, making sure not to pull too tightly as this will distort the warp. The next stitch is done in the same way. Pull out the next two warp threads to the right and pass the yarn behind from right to left. When making sumac stitch, the yarn is always pulled through the stitches in the opposite direction to the one that you are weaving in. Continue the sumac stitch until you reach the right hand edge. At the end of the row, wrap around the last two warp threads twice. And then coming back, we will pull out the next two warp threads to the left of the end and holding the yarn bundle in your left hand, pass it behind the two warps from left to right. You will see that this will create a stitch that slants in the opposite direction. To make the stitches slant in the same direction for each row, you will need to start each row at the same edge. Once you are back to where we started, poke the end of the yarn to the back of the work then wrap around the last two threads twice as we did at the other end. The third row is made in the same way as the first. Pull out the next two warp threads and pass the yarn from right to left behind the threads. Sumac can also be worked by pulling out one thread at a time. This produces shorter and more condensed stitches. Sumac is often used to outline an area of weaving or as a textural feature in weaving. The silk top I used in this video is part of the natural luxury yarn packs available from my website Patricia Cantos Design. I hope you've learned something new with this video. Have fun weaving and subscribe to Weave with Pat to get all the latest weaving tips and design ideas.